Hey guys, it's Mary Jane, and we're back. <laughs> Part two is some things that we feel like we didn't cover yes. um, extensively, so uh, we just want to do our due diligence and bring you guys the facts as we know them. Yes, yes, yeah, definitely. Um, one of the things that we mentioned was like uh, a lot of scams that we did fall into. So I wanted to go into a little bit more details. And as we mentioned in our last video, some companies that we did join. Mm -hmm. And um, like, for example, like Gladia Coin was, was, a, was a, I thought was legitimate at the time and definitely a good company. But one of the things that James pointed out to me was like, hey, babe, um, when you have an issue, who do you go to? There's no support. Nobody. <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, hey, um, no, they got a Facebook page, and I got guys, everybody questions on the Facebook page. He's like, okay, but what about the support for the like the company? The company should have a support system, like a support, you know, you know who you contact in the company. I was like, I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, any, any sign that <laughs> the owners are not visible, mm -hmm. don't want to show their faces for whatever reasons. These are all red flags, right? That you should be running in the opposite direction. Right. Um, like she mentioned, no actual support system. We send we send emails out to, or mm -hmm. you know, you can live chat with somebody. Maybe, yeah. Another red flag that you should run towards the hills in the opposite direction. Definitely. Um, Definitely. And then um, Econ Plus came came around, and I still didn't pick up on that red flag. <laughs> but it it was just, it was pretty much you know the same concept as well. You know, um, and then when I joined uh, BitLake and BitGrow, they were support, but what it was with them, it was the fast return. It was the yeah, fast return. And believe me. And the BTC clock too as well. I was against these, but yes, he was. You know, I do understand that to make money, you need to risk certain things. So, right. like I told, listen. And most of these online you know, businesses are a gamble, either way. Hundred percent. They are. Yeah. They, they are definitely. Um, a gamble. So at the end of the day, when I went into like BTC Clock or uh, Big Row, did I know that um, they made up and run? Yeah. So guess what? I invested what I can use. I did not invest everything. Yeah. You know, not not everything that I want to use. Just just what I can. That way, <laughs> if the inevitable happens, you know, you can't you know can't be too mad at yourself because you knew it was a pretty decent chance that would happen. <laughs> so right. then when it does, you know, you just you know take your losses and start over somewhere else you yeah know, pretty definitely much. and and when we say start over you have to be able to move on yeah okay i'm i i have run to a lot of people online where they they lost and then they just can't get over it and they True. And, and then now they they're stuck in this bubble where everything is a scam don't <laughs> yeah lose, don't want to lose any more yeah. money that's 100 percent true yeah you know and, I, and, I, I, and i'm like no not everything is a scam and it, you should gotta pick up yourself and move on and move forward and just educate yourself and not continue making the same mistakes right right there's some people you can show them 10 years worth of earnings from a company and they will tell you what it's gonna blow up one day i'm yeah. telling you one day <laughs> open your face like, right you right know. because because they'll still ask for you know for proof of payment and they still think it's a scam either way so it's like okay well then what was the point of asking for the well no well you gotta understand they have companies that have been around for like a year right you know one company right now is you know crypto trade capital you know mm, where yeah, they i mean i know as this is airing as we're you know recording this actually is still up in air all we know is that they've up and moved um we know that some people can maybe they've been getting paid others have been claiming that they have not gotten paid right so officially as of right now we do not know but it's really looking like the other scams where just operating one day and they just had their one year anniversary too yeah very lavish party but this it's, is how it happens sometimes. Yeah, I just can't really, even explain. Yeah, they do you know, a really big event. Really it's big just event. you gotta have thick skin in this field. You, you you really do. You do. And you know you also run into people who are account managers. You know. Oh yeah. Sit there, those. Tell you get you a private trader who you give them hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, seven days from now you get fifteen hundred dollars. People, let's be honest. Yes. Like yeah. I said in the last video, if they were making those kind of flips and returns with the money, they won't need your money. They would not. They would not need your money yet. And 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 I've come across those. I never invested, <laughs> but I have. Yeah, if she would have. We would have been fist fighting. Man. I'm sorry. <laughs> no more gambling with those kind of things, man. Oh um, no, yeah, no, yeah. No. You know, and, and, and they'll say. Um, I had a very interesting conversation with with one particular individual, saying that they had an account manager that um that actually tr do the training for them, and he pays ten percent. And I brought up you know CBT and say, hey, you could actually trade yourself. And cut mm -hmm. out the middleman, 
don't have to pay the 10 percent. that's that's 10 more percent back in your pocket you don't have to right. pay and on top of that you're making extra trading yourself but he <laughs> just would would it um you know see the way i saw it which is fine everybody's entitled to, to their own opinion but the reason why i brought up that conversation because i've noticed online a lot of um people um praising others uh, for example, they'll, they'll praise their account manager um, sure. and they'll mention their name and then they'll give you a WhatsApp number. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so that is a red flag, people. That is a red flag. What is a WhatsApp number? And when they also say, oh, you can only reach them on Facebook. Why? Why is it only Facebook? And then, and then, and then, I'll, ask, and then I'll ask them for a link. Like, you know, what's the company's name? what company do they work for or how long have they been trading stuff like that and they, they, they will not know any of these answers but they'll tell you oh no you could just reach out to them that is that is that is a red flag that really is you gotta watch out for yeah that. and you know just to piggyback off that train of thought ownership you know people who you can see somebody you can hold accountable you know i know we mm. mentioned being able to go ahead and reach out to support and have an appointment for that but you know, we're also speaking to actually seeing the owners themselves. Right. You know. Right. Now, I don't know about you, but at least I have a visual. That guy <laughs> who scammed me, I know who to look for if I see him in the street. That's you right. You know what I mean? That's but right. all jokes aside, though, honestly, you know, because you, you would have to think people, you know, should be going through these extra steps to make themselves visible, to make us feel comfortable and putting our hard-earned money That's right. into them. I mean, listen, guys, I've been like I said, we've been scammed before. Doesn't feel good when you've worked you work weeks and weeks and months and years at your job and you you know you haven't faith in someone else who's claiming they have a business that they're running legitimately. Mm -hmm. And so no one wants to lose their money over someone else's bad intentions, you know. Right. So we're just trying to give you guys you know, just different tips that we thought of after we, we did the other video. That's why we're in the same clothes, obviously. Um we Hey, hold on, on now. <laughs> well, no, I, well, you gotta mention. <laughs> tell people the truth. Yeah, we, we stopped the video and then we thought of some other we things, did. so we just hit record again. We definitely this did. Just and all, just to off piggyback off what, you, what you're saying about the the companies, well, I mean, really piggyback off you, you piggyback off. I mean, me. well, that's how it works. So it's called teamwork. That's yeah. what it is. It's called, it's called Team Kimbrough for a reason. Go ahead, um, go ahead. But um, you know, a lot of big name companies, there is a face to it. So if, if anybody knew who started Apple. Everyone mm -hmm. knew who saw team you know, so there's a name to there's a name and a face. So online business should not be any different. It it, it should not be it, it should not be a big secret on who started the company. I mean, what's the secret? The, um, nothing much, you know. So and also, guys, just to talk about when it comes to recruiting once again. All right, and we still we still gonna go ahead and uh, want you guys to comment on this. Um, mm -hmm. you're gonna get a lot of no's. You're going to get a lot of no's. All the, all, you know, in my journey working online, I got a lot of no's. More no's and yeses. A definitely. whole lot more no's. But this second time around, the no's actually motivated me. The first time around when I was working from home and doing the online business, it it was tearing me. It was tearing me. But like like James said, you have to have thick skin. You really do. So this the second time around doing this online business, the no's motivated me. I'm like, 10 no's? Hmm. I think I can get about 20 more yes. I I actually flipped the number around because because cause they usually say out of a hundred no's you'll get four yes. I flipped it. I said no, I'm gonna get four no's and a hundred yes. That's how I looked at it. And it motivated me. It, it it really did. So every time I got a no, I went harder and harder and harder to to, to go ahead and get more referrals. More referrals. So you so you just guys don't give up. Don't mm -hmm. don't don't give up whatsoever. Um, we all are human. We all have feelings, emotions, or whatever the situation is, and we have concerns, and we have a lot a lot of questions. Yeah. Keep moving forward, keep man. Keep moving forward. Just keep and you know forward. your family and friends will be the first ones to tell you, eh, don't think so. Don't That's do right. this. Don't do that. One thing I want to mention to everybody: whenever you are accepting someone's opinion, you're accepting your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, take a look at the person's living, and now if if they have made their own successful investments. Then I would take their advice, you know, That's and I, right. I would maybe think about heeding that advice. But mm -hmm. for those who are still struggling, who are still going day to day, and then are quick to tell you no, mm -hmm. take that advice with a grain of salt. Because at the end of the day, whatever, whatever business or field you get into, there's always going to be obstacles That's right. that you have to avoid and avert. People get scammed, you know, in real estate, you know, with the, you know, in, in a lot of other business dealings. You know, whether it's dealing we get, with... We get scammed just going shopping sometimes. 
What you mean? Um, well, looking at the prices. What you mean? Well, no. Well, because let let's say for example, we can go shopping in one store and get the same ounce of let's say a lotion for a lot cheaper than we will get at another store. I got to teach you how to bargain shop. Don't worry. What? <laughs> See, that's another video we got to go through. I don't know. I do how to bargain shop. I'm just scouring the internet looking for good deals. You buddy. do not be online. I'm the one online be shopping. My phone. Online. You know? Yeah, I do go to shopping. Anyways. <laughs> All right, guys. Go ahead. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Please, Make please, sure please. you share. Uh, Make sure you follow all our Facebook pages, Work From Home, Online Business Opportunity, mm -hmm. and the CBT Facebook page as well. And yes. we will definitely look out for your email at Donna0104 at Yahoo.com yeah. for our Q. <laughs> wow. Why did it happen to that commercial? I know, but I'm <laughs> you bringing it back. Back with that one, <laughs> you with that one. But uh, we could go ahead and do our Q and A videos, mm -hmm. and we like to hear from you guys. All right, don't give up, man. Don't yes, give up. don't give up. CBT, Platinum World Team Build, whatever you're in, don't ever give up. But make sure it's legitimate, guys. They are scams. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, bye bye. Off.